You're now tuned to SDE Podcast with the Skip Bayless of Rap Hustle. Yo, SDE Motherfucking Podcast. We live. We live once again. We got uh, Elves in the building. Yeah, right. 410 Jimmy in the building still. We got Nay in the building. Hey. We ain't seen you in a minute. What's good? Um, I'm good. Um, I know it's been a while, but I told myself, you know, I'm going to definitely do, you know, make time for different things. So I'm here. That was one of your New Year's resolutions? Yes. I feel like, granted, you know, that New New Year, New Me shit is, is you know, I wouldn't say it because it is a little played out cliche type thing, but... I feel like, you know, every year is a restart, so you should do, at least have certain goals in your head, you know, so one of my goals was to start doing other things. And the podcast is one of them. You already been on here. Right, but I... And I'm about to leave. I know, and then that's what's so crazy, as soon as I'm like, okay, here I am, hustle, let's do this, you like, oh, I'm about to move, I'm all right. I mean, niggas die every day, dude. (laughs) No, I mean, you know, don't slow your life down for nobody else, do what you gotta do. Shoral won't with an L. Shoral. Shoral and not. Shoral won't. Uh, but I'm glad to be here, though. I appreciate you coming, cause thank you. I needed some women. Yeah, I, opinions. Oh, I love to. Here. Yeah, definitely. For cause all I'm tired of, of all of the women bashing that I be doing. I wouldn't call it <laughs> women bashing. I would just say it's men's point of view and what they feel about women. I be bashing women. What, see, you know what? Uh, Y'all don't deserve us. And I wish more Don't even deserve. start with that sentence. I wish more niggas. Don't start with I that sentence. I wish more niggas would take it seriously. <laughs> you said y'all don't deserve us. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't. Like, you say that about dogs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't dog. deserve us. You smart ass dog. <laughs> if y'all don't deserve me, y'all say you deserve me. <laughs> oh, no, it. we deserve people. Don't. Oh yeah, y'all, y'all deserve Beyonce. I deserve Beyonce. I thought, I thought the thing is when they was too lit, you didn't deserve them. When they was what? When they too lit, you don't deserve them. I didn't know you was a Beyonce person. Oh, oh yeah, you know it's like certain people that like Beyonce, Beyonce. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, yeah. I'm not. My sister I'll, would tell you. I, I feel like I know you I like Beyonce, her. but I didn't know you love Beyonce. Yeah. You no, know, I That's love. Right. Be, well, see, the reason I guess because I don't really have to feel like I have to express it low to the world like everyone else. Like I, like I grew to love her from when Destiny Child came out. She wasn't my favorite person. Wait, but once she came out, by her your solo, favorite Destiny Child? I, I love Latavia and her red hair. Like I don't know something about her red hair. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. But I didn't have a favorite. It was weird. I didn't have a favorite. And then I still love Destiny Child. Like I had all their albums and everything. Yeah, and then when Beyonce sure. came out by her solo shit, I was like, "Yo, no, you, you didn't know." I'm like, "You better," because a lot of people, a lot of single artists or artists start mm-hmm. from groups and then they go solo. Some of them don't make it very well. But the fact that she went solo and killed that shit, honey, you get my respect. Your vocals is on point. Like, and as she's she mature, like when she get older, yeah, just that's a fact. Like, though, did but that shit is too. rare, though. Yeah, like She's she great. kills that shit and her vocals get so much better each time when she performs. I can see a music video and I get chills. Even talking about her, I'm Dad, like, you love Beyonce like that? I love her. Because, like, musically, I grew queen. up with her. I love her. Who? Love how did she her. become the queen and what year did Beyonce become the queen? See, for me, Dangerously in Love, because that album right there, she was, killed it. That was her it. first album? Mm hmm, by herself. She, when she came out that crazy I love. I was like, yes, bitch. And she had everybody doing that little dance. That's another thing, too. She a lot of girls cut, uh oh. Y'all butts not touching y'all back like that. Don't act like that. Well, Beyonce ain't that thick, so let's not slice it. You know what I'm saying? But I can uh oh now. Like, don't get me that. I, can, I, I, did, I never said Beyonce <laughs> was that thick, but that thing touched her back, though. <laughs> she know how to work it. That's all that matters, y'all. know girls she are little kills it, But she can clap. work it and sing at the same time. That's the thing with people don't why people don't understand what the respect with Beyonce. Yes, Jennifer Hudson got vocals. Yes, Mariah Carey got vocals. But Beyonce got vocals and shakes her ass at the same time. Like it's nothing. You gotta respect it. I love Beyonce too though, but I love Lauren London more. I mean I take Beyonce. Lauren London's cute, but she don't got that much cred. I feel like if I get Lauren London, 
I'm not gonna need her to have a job is the reason that I got. I guess that's why Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, hence Lil Wayne. Mip. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, they're I'm still not gonna need her to have still a job with each other. So, but I ain't that, gonna be mad. Crazily enough, I would never think I would love somebody as much as Beyonce as I do Cardi B. I fucks with Cardi B. Man, let me tell you about Cardi B. You know, I, I, I was would, waiting. I true people. I didn't want to bring it up. Cardi B, long story short, I used to have late nights, you know, being a new mom, I'm up all the night, and I used to see Cardi B's Instagram coming up in the people that you might like or whatever section that is. That's talking about some page. funny wild shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's so how I'm she like, got five and I was trying she, to tell. I'm like, she ratchet, but she's speaking some real ass shit. So I started following her. Next thing you know, I seen the come up. I'm like, I seen her people booking her for clubs. Next thing you know, she like she about to do music. I'm like, hold up, wait. Hopefully she can rap. Next thing you know, she come up with that mixtape. I'm like, oh my god, she can really. She's rap. like, oh my then god. Then she come up with another mixtape. I'm like, oh shit, she 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 can do this. And then she come on love All right, wait, time like, out, time yeah, out, time out, time out. All right, Jimmy on the last episode asked, um, can she talk about personal shit? Well, can like, she rap? I mean, can she just do other shit other than like as far as like maybe song? her lifestyle and her childhood? I think that's coming. I really do because on her Instagram, I'm telling you, Shorty talks about anything. She talks about to from the niggas in the strip club to how she grew up being international. And you know me, I'm foreign, so right. I can you know she Trinidad and I think Dominican or something. Right. So she talks about all that shit. But you know, with the music industry. Granted, you do your own thing, I like but it's how you certain throw ways. Too far in there. We'll yeah, keep going. shout out to the people. <laughs> shout out, Sarah Leon. Okay. So you think she's gonna have a good career? Not do you I, love her? Do you not, think she's gonna have see, a good it's career? hard for me to say that because it's moving so fast. Okay, it's moving really fast. I so. say, yeah, I think she. I just need her album to she come out. She adapted quick, though. She definitely adapted quick. Yeah, she did. And she talked about that, too. She'd be like, I really hustle. Like, I'm going to learn how to do this shit real well. Mm-hmm. I'd be like... I'm wondering her, who's... In her broken like, English. Right, she, yeah, she said it in a funny-ass way, but she I, I will really do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. I like this. Yeah, I really figured this shit out. She was like, she ratchet, but she know what she be talking about. Yeah, like, she hear her shit. She sound a hell of funny, but I really be respecting most of the shit I just want her album to come out, I feel like once her album come out, then I will know for sure. But I feel like it's a, it's a lot of pressure. Then it's like it's taking a while. Like it's it spring coming. Like okay, I knew 2017. She I feel like coming out. I didn't. I don't listen to the to. I mean, this was her year. Shit. It ain't taking long. Yeah, this is her year. You know, she got. But what that yellow was kind of right was do you summer. Think, so do you guys think she should come out with an album this year? No, she has to. Yeah, she drop but by when though? Spring or summer? But she summer. can't go past summer. Like at the summer, we're like, surely don't be like Kelly Rowland. Nah, no I mean, she can, Nah, if she keep coming with hits, she could take as long as she want. Drake right. took forever to come yes, out with the true. first joint. Really, I never really. Like okay. as long as you keep dropping hits, you just have to keep being relevant. Yeah, That's it. Davies took forever. What's Tory Lanez took forever. Dog, keep, yeah, keep everybody running. take forever. It's not a, you gotta yeah, get your butt. It's not. It's yeah, that, um, that if you can still control that mix. Consistency is key, man. Mm-hmm. If you consistent, you good. I can't. If she wait. dropped I another mixtape, really want her to, right. to last. You know what I'm saying? Mm, so she's gonna last. She's with yeah. the fucking Migos. Yeah, because honestly enough, people try to. So I know some people who still try to sleep on Migos, but I've watched. I don't like them. the Migos. I don't. Let me. I will say this: when they first came out, I was not their fan. But now I will listen I to their the album. Migos. Like their last album, I listened. That was my first time listening to their album, and I will say, culture. Yeah, the first, first one. Yeah. I will say that a lot of people, a lot of their songs, I fucked overrated with. that album. Culture. I started fucking with them. Nigga. I my look at it as a non-fan so standpoint. That doing all right. Yeah, that's yeah they, no, they got songs, but that's not nothing that I'm gonna wanna. That's what made me stop. Like I'm not sitting there here like, yo, let me play the music. They don't have mm-hmm. replay value for me, right? But, when I, but if I like replay like value, song? I'm not gonna wanna hear it like again, right? Or a lot, right? Or listen often. through the whole album. But if somebody's where you... playing it, I'm like, all right, you should right. Yeah, oh, no, all right. I don't hate the Migos. But I don't like the music. Right, I give them. The, you know, they're they're what's going. They're good for what's going on right now with the generation. No, I was like, these the motherfucking is the generation. Mm-hmm. They, they are. They, 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 and then under them goes yeah, Twenty One Savage and Lil lot, Uzi and all of them. The lots of this generation, they're gonna be considered legends in rap. They are legends in rap, bro. They That's like a good fact. 
I ain't the same. Say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's ugly as cry, shit. Cry, cry, cry. That's ugly as shit. Y'all know what? Can I tell y'all something? You yeah. know what made me realize where hip hop has. I mean, I already knew hip hop was different and changed and not what we grew up to. I was watching The Breakfast Club and. 21 Savage was on there I and he was like man. me too him. I do like him I don't fuck with, I like him for what's going on right now I ain't see him on the but or maybe it was Lou. no it I'm was saying, right, man, what was he talking about yeah I'm about to say but basically he was saying yeah cause he was talking about Amber Rose got him drinking water and vitamins and shit <laughs> but anyway so he basically said you know he didn't grow up listening to, to Tupac and Biggie he grew up listening to Drake and that makes sense because remember was one of them rap artists from back from this time now. Remember they were performed on the BET Awards yeah, and Charlie. didn't know the words. Charlie. Rich Charlie. right? Okay, you see what I'm that saying? Was so <laughs> Twenty One Savage, it makes sense. Technically, we know Tupac because when we, even though we're the younger of the generation, I remember when Round the World video came out in California, Love, yeah, whatever nah, it's called. Nah, they don't necessarily that remember that. Nah, Twenty One ain't that. How old is Twenty One? He has to be like 24, 23. He's not that much younger. He wouldn't uh, remember Pop. But he said it. He said he was like... But that's understandable, bro. That's the same way. He he would be, bro. I'm 27. And I'm telling you... And you're like the ending. Because I feel about my sister. That's the same way I feel about Jordan. I feel about my sister. And she gets it kind of like from me and my older cousins type shit. That's the same way I feel about Jordan. So I don't feel like that because... It's the same time. If that's not what them niggas grew up listening to, that's not what... Yeah, I'm not saying... I'm not... And I'm not... Ain't no wrong with it. You know, because Jordan is a good actor. I mean, shit. A good rap artist. And that's not, you know, discrediting Jordan. Drake, mm-hmm. but it's just Drake grew up listening would, to Tupac. I'm not so mad that still, you know. I'm not mad that Drake is somebody you look up to, though. No, I'm not. But Drake listened to J- Tupac, and you know what I'm saying. So it's That's like Drake like someone like from someone our going, age group. right. Drake, Drake is our age. Like someone going on the BET Awards and not remembering Biggie's words. You're like if you didn't grow up in that age group, you think your son gonna remember Pop words? Well, Kimmy knows some of um, uh, do you Tina think your Turner's. Son, do you think your son is going to know <laughs> Pop? No, no. This is what me. you asked, Yes, Alex. he is. Is, is Kimmy going to know Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> yes, because I love Maybe because he's Lamar. that live, well, because though. Of me. Because, because you're going to play it. Right, because the thing is... So that's not from, Kendrick. I'm it has to be though. somebody else. So somebody people, run that Because I'm from a musical background. Would you like, put music in the Kimmy? Okay, Kimmy is how old now? She's seven. So some songs, if I do play, it is edited. See, that's and she like with me and Bob Marley. You feel me? My pop. She like, knows know Bob Marley. Shit. You know, my like sister my loves Bob Marley. Shit. My yeah. si- my daughter knows but Bob Marley. They get passed down though. But right, and that's know. some generations yeah. don't get passed down. Like I grew up like sometimes with my my dad's brother. We wake up at nine o'clock in the morning. He playing music. Right. And shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they cutting like, music. Like no, we're getting lit music. My right, son, so like, it depends on how like, you... Unless they go and do that research or something, they're not going to know the history on these people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah not. My daughter's not going to know bit. none of my niggas that I fuck with. She's not going to know Stacks. She's right. not going to know none of them. The whole Dipset crew and all that yeah. shit. She not. Because Jim Jones and Joel yeah, were the last done. time they even... For this generation, for them to know who they and are. And I'm not mad. Fuck it. Shit. No, I, it's a lot of niggas. It is what it is. Niggas that... I keep saying, niggas didn't like Dipset. I remember niggas was talking... Older niggas used to talk shit about Cam for wearing pink. Shit, Dipset was... That nigga still did his thing, Dipset was the movement to us like Migos is the movement to the young niggas. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like it that's it. It is what it is. I ain't give a fuck what no nigga had to say about Cam wearing pink. I went to go cop yeah. a four racks tall pink tee, nigga. I ain't never. Yo, but shit is so it. different these days, bro. <laughs> like when I was like probably preteen age, I was realizing that I missed out on a lot of shit, so I had to go back and hear it. You feel me? That like Everybody mid to late like '90s shit. When I was a jit, I was like just not even ten. You know, seven, eight, nine years old, and I knew I missed it. By the time I hit preteen, teen, I'm like, yo, I just missed this music that's live. I gotta catch up. Nowadays, these youngers do not think the shit before them is live. They like, y'all old, y'all whack. Mm-hmm. But we wanted to that know shit. that shit yeah. a little bit, like, Hell like yeah. old ass, like gangster movies and stuff like yeah. that. They don't make them. They, yeah, they don't make them no. type movies no more. Movies is, is it's the era of the body pick though. Yeah, that shit, shit, yeah, that shit cool. Yeah, they they try to like make sure everything that happened in our time stays in history. For example, the BMF doc, that shit gonna be crazy. Yeah, that'll be something everybody should remember. But things, you know, history always repeats itself. Yeah, so, it is. But that don't mean every everything don't make history though. Everything's not history. That is true too. Yeah, because technology. Mm. So um. 
Do you have Wi-Fi? Yeah, my, but I'm not gonna say it on here. Oh yeah. Is it the is the box right there? It's um is you, the, go to the joint, you'll see my name. Okay, because it's not um sorry you guys. My bad, my bad, my bad. Um, hey yo, would you um do anybody in here want to know about the niggas, the amount of niggas that they girl smash? The real number. I'm sorry, what did you say? Have you ever told a nigga the real number of niggas that you fuck? I, I don't Can care. Can I? This it, it's not a one answer for that. When I was younger, yes. But now that I'm, but as I got, do older, niggas ask still? Not to this day, no. But there was times they would, and I, you come to a point, it's like it's none of your business. Like just worry about what I'm doing with you. Do you ask? Do you care? No, because at the end of the day, they're gonna lie. Cause it, right, exactly. You know I mean? Exactly. Do you ask or care? I don't ask. I feel like some girls be trying to bring it up, and when they purposely bring it bring up, bring it up. For the I'll, guy to ask? Like, be like, oh, holy fuck. No, th- what they say is, I, o- I only had a certain amount of boyfriends when you, like, if that, like, that's they how only they bring it up. Boyfriends? Yeah, yeah, that's how they bring it up. <laughs> they like only that. count the public, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's been shit. so Cause long. Because girls like to decline bodies. Like, yeah, act they like bodies didn't happen. They definitely do. I, like, honestly, though, like I said, guys have asked me that, but it's been a long ass time that a guy's asked me. Do you feel like that. that shit is corny, though? Very corny. Because I don't even know how I people ask nowadays. It's like, so, right. how many, so, uh, so how many guys have you been with? Like, how many niggas you fucking with? What? What? Yeah. Shit sounds stupid, kind of like, I don't even know. Yeah, That's I don't. Saying. Would you even want to know? It ain't helping neither one of us. No, I don't want to know. That's why I feel like, why are you asking me? Do you ask niggas how many girls, niggas, I mean, girls they been with? Don't, no. And if I did, maybe that was back in, like, high school. years. like, oh, so how many girls do you have? No. I don't want to know. Why would I want to know? I'm glad. I'm glad that's no, well, I got, I wish it was, like, a young girl in here. Yeah, we can ask yeah to see if they still ask yeah, that. Yeah, I feel because like niggas you know still asking. I'm, I'm glad you said that because <laughs> that's so funny. So I was talking to a friend of mine. He was complaining about his baby mama. His baby mama, she young. She like 21, 22. Savage nigga. So, right. I was like, you're R. Kelly. But anyways. Um, Wait. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get to that guy. So uh, I was like, um, so he's pretty much like. Basically, the agreement between his baby mama was they shouldn't be doing anything. She need to focus and shit like that on what she got to do. So, long story short, she been dealing... I'm going to turn it this way because I'm going to lose it. She been uh, dealing with um, this nigga and the nigga left... She let the nigga use her car. But she tried to say that she wasn't fucking him. So, like, <laughs> yeah, like, it was just crazy that he said that because the nigga tried to tell her he's a construction worker. We why, all why, I got been, why I got been quotations? Because the niggas fact that she, first of all, she's lying to this to her baby daddy saying she's not fucking this nigga. It's very rare that a girl lets a guy use her car and she not fucking him. Then she asks her, like, what does he do? And she's like, well, he's a construction worker. And I'm like... That's only on... Uh, that's how I some he's not, a, shit. he's not a mobster. He's not in a mob, yo. I'm not saying he in a mob, but he could be doing his little thing or whatever. But either way, it's just crazy. So when he said that, I'm like, niggas still... Right. He's the job to get for real. No, because when, when he said that, I was like, damn, niggas still using that? Like, niggas still saying, oh, I'm a construction worker. Now, no shade to construction workers, but... <laughs> I mean, so are you saying? What are you saying? That the cover up has been exposed. Was like youngins be, you know, it's like old tricks that youngins are falling for. So I just want to know is that something that youngins are still falling for? You see what I'm saying? Like that's an old trick to me. When he said that, I'm like, nigga, still saying that. Alright. When a nigga tell me that shit, I'm like, mm hmm. I had. I had. Let's cite you at. Let me come bring you lunch. <laughs> well, I'll be everywhere. 
Right. Like, I don't have like a station joint. I don't have like a set joint. Oh, why? Right. Because most construction sites you were there for sometimes. More than one day. Oh, no, nah, nah, they, nah, they got uh, me on the call in. Yeah. Yeah. You see it how y'all keep coming with or. this shit? Yeah, it depends, it depends on what field it is nah, for real because mm-hmm. it's concrete. But can y'all admit that niggas do use that? Is one of the cliche. I've never used that. But you, uh, well, I've heard it. I've never had to. And he that construction job. Yeah. So if he used it, he's allowed to use it. Jimmy, you ever used it? Do you know anybody? Do any of y'all know any nigga that ever used it that did not do construction? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> That's only in the movies, yo. Only when no, uh, that should be bullshit. It's only on Instagram. Yeah. They think I'm playing. I know you play. Niggas don't I'm not. Play, that shit's for real. Niggas Construction or, um, what's the other one? Well, y'all think I can't think of that right now. It's all good. <laughs> they, um, rap? Oh, no. You better not even come at me with that rap. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> a nigga, so you saying a, a, nigga, a rap nigga can't bag you? It's not that, but do something else, too. Like, where's your money coming from? Rapping. Yeah, but but not, and I, I don't want to discredit niggas that I know who work because I do know like legit niggas who can rap. No, 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 not that can rap. That a can lot get of people money can rap. From rap, but you got to be able to get money from rapping. Is right. it a hobby or is it a job? That's how, and that's where the line crosses. Whereas like niggas like who like I know back in the day just be straight in the basement and it's just like it's not going nowhere. Like, but t- get yourself out there. Like, I just want to see a nigga with more than one hustle. Just know that you know you gotta. Provide, do something like let's let's let's, let's come on now. Like, so y'all can't if I rap, here. you saying I can't provide? If, somebody, if, if like, you're hey, rapping, you can't podcasts, provide. I'm like, all right, well, I, I do my podcast and she all got right. she got walk away. No, I I'm going to follow drinks. I can be definitely gullible, so I can follow drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I can follow drinks, okay? You know what I'm saying? You just gotta have one, and shit. <laughs> right? You just gotta definitely show that you're putting. Do that into make you crazy? It makes me it makes me crazy to know that you're gullible, but still be gullible. I wouldn't say it makes me crazy. I think maybe gullible wouldn't be the word, but I wouldn't say it's crazy. I just feel like I feel like I give people benefit of the doubt. So, but some shit like when people and not just niggas allegedly some niggas people, like crazy women though. That's no, what well, the thing is like not saying it's like. And we're just meant to with well, anybody. Some people can just feed you a story, and you be like, "No, you know damn well that was not true." But we're gonna let you rock with that. So that's how I feel like I have turned it into a type of situation where you don't speak on everything. Hmm. That's the matureness in you. Yeah, that I'm trying to get at. Because sometimes I do slip up. Because I be like, "Oh, fuck that shit." Hmm. <laughs> well, but what men? Men, you think I, men like crazy? Women? I was about to say, I don't think. Well, what's I think crazy? They like the, right, we have to define what's crazy. To me, like the crazy pop-ups, would be the, pop-ups. This it, that's crazy. The thing. Is, pop-ups is only crazy if you don't want that motherfucker pop. Thank up. you. I don't thank have. You. I don't have mad pop-ups. I'm like, bet. Where you at? Exactly. All right, all right bet. Jimmy, where you at? High five on that. Thank you. But if it's somebody you don't want to pop up, pop-ups nah. are only a problem if you don't want that person. Yeah, no, that's like harassment. Out. That's like anything. Yes, because I've had people pop up on me and it's not yeah, a problem. It matters. It matters. I've really had is anybody like. pop up on me. I don't want to because they pretty much know who pop up on my ass. <laughs> yeah, people should I know mean, if they can and can't. Exactly. Not. To me, crazy also. But if you're dealing with a guy and you feel like you're on that level and y'all dealing with each other every day and this and the third, like, my nigga. And, and pop up meaning, if you pop up meaning like, Oh, I'm in the area and I might come by, or I say, "What's well, you know?" I'm saying, cool. You know that we' about to meet up, but right. you're taking maybe a long Not time to respond. So I'm like, "Well, they already know I'm coming, so let me just come through." Because you know that person, you know what I'm saying? Then nah. that's like See, that's, that's where you almost oh, wrong though. Why? That's where you get wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. because it's only a one motherfucker at a time that got the pop up. It's like it's like a green light on with hooping and shit. It's only one nigga right at a time on the court that got that real green light. It's only right. one that got the real green light. Cuz I have light. a homegirl where If you got if it's any gray area, you do not have the green light. Right. You cannot pop up. Okay. You cannot. 
So, what, so what is you should okay. Okay. If you ain't busy, so does it mean you have to be in a relationship to pop up? Almost. Damn near, hell yeah. Or baby mama. What's damn near? Something as close as possible. Damn near. A-cap. That's, yeah, that's like basically. The, that's the stage right before you get into it. Right, right, yeah. We got that. We got that. So that's that, how you know you're in a relationship that right now. or about to be in a relationship. Right. That's how you know. I'm or if you would regularly be there at that Okay, all that's that what matters. I was looking all at that because matters. I'm still lost on what does it mean to be almost in a relationship. Maybe you that's know. a woman in me. You know. But you don't being know what it's like someone, to almost be in a relationship? You know. I do, but some people sometimes like to... What is your... As a woman, what is your definition? Because y'all well, I told you, if it's, up. Yeah, if it's a great area, what I then it's is, not... It I feel count. like it's always a great area if you're about to be in a relationship. No. In this generation... But my fi- my feeling on being almost in a relationship is you're spending time on a daily, going out, talking about the future, um, you know, spending energy, spending time. Energy. Energy. <laughs> That's the new thing. We love it. Energy. No, I've always Everybody want to talk about person. energy. <laughs> and you know what? I hate that because I've always been like that person. I've always been the one to look up horoscopes. Like, I've been that person. Oh, you know what I'm so you hype beast in the energy? Uh-huh. <laughs> you said what? Nah, I'm fucking with you. You don't want people using that shit because you've been on it? Not that, but I hope you would be all trying to be funny. No, nah, uh, nah, That's I'm how I feel. The like. way I get to what crazy is also, though. Crazy, so crazy destroying is, okay, some so shit. Must have destroying some shit. Um, constantly calling. Uh, aggravating me on purpose. Mind you, uh, a bad pop up almost constitutes being fucking crazy. Yeah. If you ain't got no business yeah. constituted yeah. as being crazy. You ain't got no business being here and you just came to my shit or something. Like, this is like, whoa. Mm-hmm. Like, what whoa are you no. doing? We're going to have to rethink some shit. What are you doing? You know where are, where are we in your life? Bro, we got to have a conversation now. You right. know what I'm saying? Cause we French now, yeah. but you know what's crazy? I especially for I've me. never done the pop up. I have done it before once, but he popped up too, so that's why I felt it was okay. To pop up. Uh, yeah, but if y'all yeah. don't want a nigga to pop up, y'all play like, oh, this dude is on some crazy shit. No, see, I'm a little like I will if, if a guy pops up and I don't want it. I'm pretty, and not saying I don't want it per se. Where I'm like, uh, uh-uh, nigga, what the fuck you doing here? I'm just like, I, right. I just be like laughing, like, haha, what you doing? What's oh, up? Shit. Oh no, I don't have niggas. It be niggas I don't even fuck with who be like driving past, be like, hey, I was just in the area, like, nigga, no, 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 no. We don't even talk on the phone every day. Fuck you talking about you just passing in the area. Don't Maybe you want to go get something to eat? Don't act like you won't go out at him if you said, and I got some pizza bowlies. It was wrong with being spontaneous. If he got it in the car already, I'll give I thought y'all like spontaneous. Yeah, 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 y'all like spontaneous until until a nigga spontaneous. See, y'all gotta understand. Then you gotta go do your makeup. Why you ain't tell me a week? Let me put the disclaimer. Why you tell me a while ago? Real ass shit. If. Okay. You need to explain what it say. You say yeah, real things. because y'all gonna think I'm trying to be funny. But my whole thing is, if he comes to me with pizza that's already in the car, or a piece of bowlies that's around the corner, then I can do that. But if I'm not fucking with you like that, and you popping up and trying to tuck me to eat, no, you done stepped in the situation all wrong from the jump because you pulled up without my knowledge. Now you trying to offer me something to eat. <laughs> now if now the only situation I could think that. that if the nigga drives up, because I told you I've had people drive up on me. All right, say say up. say a nigga like you. Shit say a nigga like you. He wanna go take you to eat. Don't but you pull like up. spontaneous niggas? So how, mm. how Let's build the friendship the first before you know that I like spontaneous. Come, what is the difference? Come because like you how out. Yeah, you know I mean, if he pull up with the pizza or whatever, it's right. cool. It's cool. But if, but if he want to take up, you out, if he pull up saying we, let's go out, that's not cool. It's the same thing. So you don't want him to use your energy. No, I just never. You 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 I like, never yeah. even so wanted to do anything. Period. Right, but the piece is there, so okay. Let me just take a well, slice. Man, yo, I don't have you. to leave. I don't have to get out of my comfort zone. True. Let I me get the slice of pizza. Like, like what? Niggas be mad because they bring girls out to eat and they'll be fucking up. I, I, re- I realized a long time ago, girls will go out to eat with any nigga right. if they offer you some food. And see, that shit blows me because that's not how I think. Because some t- cause the thing is, I'm a Leo and I'm African and my facial expression is hard to hide. So you're going to s- eventually, like, it's going to be too much energy. It's going to be too much work. Energy. <laughs> I know. I was trying to look so It's going to be too much energy.
energy and too much work energy to good. try to hide my facial expression because he gonna say something stupid and I'm gonna be like Nigga, talk about what you gonna be eating the food though. It's not worth it. I'd rather just buy my own food or go out with my girlfriends. Shut, I'm dead ass. Like, you shout know, shout out that. to all the women that want to buy their own food. Like, for real, it's like that serious. I've already been, food. I already like to eat. Like, I was 12 years old with my homegirls going out to eat and going to the movies. Like, I've been going out to eat. So, you've been gay. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm fucking with you. You funny. No, um, but I'm just saying, like, out, going out to eat is, like, the minimum if you want to take it there, but I've been going out to what's, eat. Yeah, so what's cool. effort? What's effort to you? I ask everybody this. What's effort to you? Because girls be like, yo, put forth no effort, and I feel like when the girls say that, they just don't know what they want. Uh, I think effort more so if you're talking to that person, meaning... Like, you ain't put forth no effort to get this box yet, so... Boom. What is this effort that He's I He's asking you, yeah, what is effort? What is it? I think that's more <laughs> so like, like, okay, guys who text, oh, what you doing? Like, that's irritating. That's not effort. What the but fuck? If you text How is say, that fucking irritating? When well, I'm meaning you, like it's a doing? consistent thing. Like, don't keep texting me what you're doing if you're not going to say, hey, I'm about to do this. Do you want to join? Or, right. hey, ah. are you having an empty night? Like, ask me what you're doing with something in the behind. I'm not going to ask. Like, I have homegirls, I'll put that, that I say, or even you, else, because you're my nigga. I, or even, like, what you're doing? Just being bland, you know? But if we on that level and we try to get to know each other, don't be asking me what I'm doing and you not trying to meet up. What the fuck is you asking me what I'm doing for? I'm too old for this shit. I don't pass that level. I to know so put in effort on, on trying to um, take me out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying um, to figure out what you was doing. I'm doing, I'm, okay, so that's what I'm saying. You can do it maybe once, maybe twice, but don't be keep asking what I'm doing and you're not trying to meet up. Put in effort, like, do something. Oh, that's the effort. I gotta come, I gotta come meet up. You know, up. or try to get to know somebody, or, you know, I don't know, necessarily know what, I can't what if you know, what if point nobody knows what effort, effort right. is. But look, though. Effort's not real. Effort could be it's something where, because a guy sometimes, he won't put in effort to what he wants. In a sense, so I feel like you shouldn't really. I, hear that. I feel like you shouldn't really but have this to press is a guy. Kind of effort that I put into everything else. I don't feel like you shouldn't really have to ask a guy to put in effort. You know what I'm saying? I think like you what should. What if we think want... we're putting in effort? Okay, and then you can have that. That, that I think we're putting that then effort. you should be able to have that mature conversation because I go. It goes into even like with you know moms and dad situations. You have some parents who they co-parent and it's always hell. They always cussing each other out. They always beefing this that, and the third. Then you got the other type of parents where they co-parent and they tell them like, "Hey, look, this is what's going on. I just need you to do a little bit more to help this issue. You know, to see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I think there's levels to this shit." Me personally, I like to talk first because I am a little coop, you know, a little, uh -uh, a little off. So I like to talk first because then, if like you keep doing it, I'm gonna be as like that's when I'll be upset. Hmm. Yeah. So, in other words, effort has no real meaning. No. And how the fuck are we supposed to give you this effort? Well, it does. Well, it does have meaning, but I feel like I can't. I gotta guess. That. But I, I gotta it's guess. It's the, different types of effort, like situations. Like and I girls just don't want to be compared to I other females. Explained. So, well, how are you complaining? Where am I how are you this complaining? Effort? How are you comparing another female to a female? Like, what are you saying? Where am I gonna get this effort from that I don't know about to give you without comparing you to another female that I gave this fake effort that you think I give to? So Nobody, when a woman I, I've been says still to y'all, when a woman is. says to y'all, they don't, they, um, they want more effort. Do they tell y'all what y'all lacking? That they want this effort? That that's no, because they don't fucking know what the fuck straight up is. Well, see, that's not me. I, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna have like A, B, and C, maybe an A point one, A point two. I will appreciate that shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> like for real. That's respectable because like a lot of things, a lot of things uh, that people say now, like on social media and shit, they be like, uh, "Don't have no expectations and shit." No, yeah. that's bullshit. Yeah, that's stupid as fuck. You gotta have expectations when you fuck with somebody. People like, be saying, on that level. basically, if you don't have any expectations, you don't get no disappointments. I like, guess the dumbest shit I ever heard. But people really be pushing that shit. Yeah. Oh how my about God. going to how yes, about, if you that go is so something, stupid to me. With, like. Let me go back on my life. I don't know. If you this got, shit, if you got, if you got, if you got fucking criteria, shit. I need to charge my phone. You know what I'm saying? Then the nigga know whether he gonna meet that shit or not. Facts. But if you come into yeah. it, you don't yeah, know what the fuck you need or what yeah. you want. How the fuck I'm gonna figure that out? You know what I'm saying? How are we mm -hmm. supposed to know? So that shit is stupid. 
I can leave then then we wasted the your time. Is, then we wasted your to, time. I, I feel like coming to a situation with expectations. Don't talk about I'm coming in with none so I don't get disappointed. That's stupid. You starting out in the yeah. negative. Like that's so I don't be understanding like so that's why Hus get to asking you questions like, what is effort? You know and that's why effort, I asked you like they is say to what they, woman too. and that's what I'm saying it's different to every woman yeah. different to every situation you know oh, this nigga just bust his ass you know what's different to a lot of people but the difference between the threesome and the train okay you wanna jump into explicitness yeah yeah <laughs> okay threesome and the train yeah. I don't care what no two, I don't two care what dudes, no woman says if two I don't niggas care what no is man involved say. it's a train it's a train if two men are involved, it's a train. If two, if it's two women and one guy, it's a threesome, and that's just what I know, and that's just what it is. I, I don't feel once again, I wish because on on live, I mean not on live, but on Facebook, I see this all the time, and girls be like, "Nah, it's not a train." I'm like, "You a fucking you a hoe, straight up." There's nothing <laughs> I can do about it. Oh. Damn that nigga busting shit. Damn, oh, that's why he was scared. Cause he almost landed on his neck, on his head. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> I don't. I, I'm trying to understand the logic as a woman as to why. It's well, you can never understand that because my dad, who is over sixty, said the worst thing you can do in the world is try in your life is try to understand the opposite sex. So don't even try to just take that your head. Just try to understand it, how that person is. Do anybody think it's a you think it's a threesome now? Yeah. If it's two guys, it's two, two guys. No, that's that's, that's a train, right? Uh, only girls on Twitter be saying that. Be on Twitter, girls be girls say it on Facebook a, too, my nigga. And that's when ask it's, ask your friend, hi. ask him, what is it? Um, so pretty much, I mean, they are the the crowd that I'm in live right now. They pretty much, I feel like, know what's up. If pretty much they want to know, this is who I'm with. Y'all good too. Oh, oh, first yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in my group. This is what we at SD podcast. But pretty much, if it's two guys, then pretty much is that a train? Or is it if a threesome? Or is it a threesome? If it's two girls, then is that a threesome or what? So, but, yeah, but I don't yeah. care what nobody gotta say. It's, if it's, it's two guys because like. Two that that means if it's two guys and one girl, it's like you're fucking two guys at the same time. That means I'm judging, and you can do what you want. Like that's what's up. Power to you, but I'm personally. You said it doesn't mean you're judging. I'm not judging oh, somebody. I thought I, you said. It. Oh, all right. I yeah, I'm like, judging. If, I'm judging. As a man, you can't. Oh, in, in my mind, I'm with it, but I'm like, I can't. I would never it, wife yeah. me and my girl if my girl wanted to do that. I'm breaking up with her. She gonna have to know that she gonna have to have. Yeah, you wanna do what? Oh nah, shorty. Look, she mm-hmm. said two guys. I put my thumb look, in the butt. She said two guys equal bang slash train. Two women equal threesome. Facts. Yeah, like that's yeah, a bullshit. I put my thumb in your butt if you want. Different. If you want that, I can choke you out when I'm hitting it. Put my finger in your mouth or something like that. But Ooh. we ain't. We not doing no other nigga in the room, man. Unless it's a whore. On some funny shit though. Well, I feel like uh, for Valentine's Day, ladies, y'all should get y'all man a sex doll. Cause that, y'all don't, don't start with that shit. Please. Cause y'all don't want to give threesomes. Y'all, y'all love girls. Yeah, y'all, <laughs> I think it's disturbing. Y'all love girls, but y'all don't want to have threesomes. It's disturbing. That shit ain't right. I think it's yeah, that's, oh, that's what it is. Uh, Al, Al said it's because I'm doing putting y'all to shame. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Making y'all have to go to the gym. That shit is weird. It's only weird because men have to penetrate something to to have, you know, pleasure. Women, uh, no, I don't. My women, hand ain't penetrating shit. Well, with the dolls, you're penetrating the doll. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Well, women, we just either have... you. I mean, we do have dildos, so you can't pick a dildo. But right. we have vibrators. Vibrators, you ain't got to penetrate shit. But That's like you rubbing dildos. your clit. Y'all got dildos. Some women don't use dildos. And some niggas don't fuck sex dolls. But I still think mm-hmm. it's disturbing. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You got a whole sex doll? Like... That's just weird And we don't even have The person It's a whole person With fake ass titties and shit So as soon as y'all get This whole nigga sex doll Ew No I'm not That's It's weird It's fucking weird It's fucking weird Like the way My niggas Use y'all tax bread And get y'all a threesome For Valentine's Day (laughs) 
Cause how, they, much, how much are they little sacks? Contracts like a thousand dollars. Nah, they like two bands, yo. They like yeah, two bands. Like, I'm gonna lie, I look them up. Yeah. They talk. Yeah, hey, listen, I'm listening to the. Uh, I'm listening to the song. Yeah, they do. Listen, nigga, I'm on Who Kid the Date. Listen, them shits automatically tighten and loosen according to your joint. No homo, bro. Who's at the door? Mm. Should I answer? Mm hmm. But, uh, I'm gonna get a sex doll, uh-huh. y'all. Shut up. No, you not. Whoa. I'm gonna get a sex doll. Hey, hey, my man, Mister in the building. What's good, Mister? Ain't shit, ain't shit. We were posting shit. Yeah, you know I mean, hey, yo, you trying to get a sex doll? Oh, my God. Fuck no. <laughs> uh, why, why not, yo? Why not, well, bro? That's what my wife plays there for. Yeah, but it's like, you gonna have a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's you, you, you just playing with a fucking dog. That's the only way you gonna have a threesome in 2018 now, yo. Girls only fake like girls and shit. You gonna like the fake ones? Mm mm. They don't gotta like them. They're scared of other girls. That's why they won't let oh, you have right, no competition. What yeah. the hell? <laughs> you have threesomes? <laughs> that is nobody's business. Cause you, well, if you don't, it's cause you're scared of other girls. <laughs> If you do, you know what I mean? That's lit. But if you don't, <coughs> there's nothing you can do. It's the truth, you feel me? No? I think it is levels to having threesomes with your spouse. Because granted, a man won't cheat, but I feel like you definitely need to have that respect and that trust. So you just automatically think that all niggas cheat? I think a good high percentage. But the only difference I feel like is that men back in the day kind of maybe more were reserved about it. Well, no reserved is with no internet. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, right. Was Everything was is there to be out there. They have a whole family around the block. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, times is different, so it's easier to find out shit. So that's why I feel like I'm not going to say every man cheat. I'm not going to say that, but... I just feel like it's a way that people want men went about. Women cheat too, though. I just, I know. But right, we're so smarter you about, about it. it. Do you like? Do you choose the girl, or do you like? I mean, can he slide in with the chick? Like, I mean, this is my new thing, or you, do you gotta go bet her? Like, I mean, she cool, her butt kind of big. I, I like feel it. like it if it comes to a threesome and y'all really in that relationship, I feel like the woman should go find the woman. Why, man? Y'all always got to find the woman. Because, because most of the time that I have why. seen from prime examples, this is only going from... It's about them being comfortable. You be comfortable. Yeah, thank you. It's only from what I've seen. I've seen men like, who go... Not, look, there's, no, there's no point. Yeah, they're like, they like don't even notice What about me? If men go... From what I've seen, if men go look for... Who she Wait, nine, you're not listening. Nine and a half times out of ten. My bad, man. Probably well, listen, nine ten. If a man, I agree <laughs> with Jimmy too because the woman has to feel comfortable. If she don't know that girl, that is going to be. And weird. most of the time, you and your girl got the same too. view on who is a beautiful woman. But if, but idea, from what I've seen, because I've had a homegirl yeah. come and ask me like, "Yeah, my boyfriend was a free sign," and best. low key, she was uh, the guy. Went and found the girl, and the the guy the nigga, the nigga been kind of like rapping oh, yeah. to her. So guys, instead of guy, the way Bruce. that girls will go about That's it, funny. and guys will go about it is different. Guys go about it where they y'all have don't to, want there to be a connection after. Exactly, guys make connections so that other girls come to threesome. Nah, we females, uh huh. Females, all we gotta do, honestly, on some real shit, all we gotta do is hit up a homegirl some or a female from. The rest of all the stuff, and be like, mm-hmm. "Hey, girl, you know we females. Not, you know it's different. Be like, look, I'm trying to. Do, 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 do. That's it. The girl already know what's up. Men, on the other hand, not all men, but most likely from what I've seen, so all he, so they be saying, trying to make that connection. That's what the threesome is what I'm hearing, and y'all be faking with the big. Thing. I have a couple of homegirls who definitely mm-hmm. are with. Who deal with girls? Like what? This is okay. 2018. I've been having homegirls who dealt with females. I mean, like, like I'm not. Me. You know that. Like I'm not. A, I'm not new to this shit. That's you why I think that shit. Shit. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Sip <Sips> tea. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, spill the tea. Fuck it. This is the damn baby. You feel me? Um, but. Yeah, that shit, niggas be nah. If I we gonna do this shit, I'm finding the bitch, and no matter bitch what I find, you gonna like her. 
Oh. Me personally, I'm gonna be well, like, well, who this bitch? Cause another thing too, like for me, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. You don't, I don't gotcha, deal you just with probably girls. Will, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't deal with girls. I'm not, really, I'm not with none of that shit for real. But if my guy wants to do that, you bring this chick. Like I need to know her because you know, females, we got nooks and crannies and shit. You know what I'm saying? I need to know if she wipes from front to back. I need to know how many times she showers. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm not really, I'm not a lesbian. Like, I'm not, like, one to be like, hey, I feel like eating pussy today. Like, no. But if you're yeah, like a sexual person, just, you know what I'm saying? You want to go that length. I'd like rather me. use a nigga. I'd rather, I want to find her. But y'all could just take a shower together and, you know. So, because, so what if she's the type of female that took a shower two days ago, but now she's taking a shower today? Like well, I don't know that. A shower now. That's just I, and then I'm be OCD and shit. So maybe I'm not the right person. <laughs> See, this is how threesomes get ruined, y'all. <laughs> never, never. Yeah, I'm an overthinker. So yeah, I'm the wrong person. I know you. It sounded cool. I had it sounded a, like I she was almost about to be like, see? Right, that's why just let me know. Like, don't ask me that shit because it ain't happening. Because I'm going to ruin it. Right. Yeah, I'm going to ruin it. At least I let you know beforehand. Because mm. I feel like it got to be some kind of trust. But I got to, I got to like, really, like, trust you and be like, okay, we can do this. You deserve it. Do you think you know what it takes for a man to be faithful? Mm-mm. Can you tell me that answer? Because I'm, I'm still trying to find out. Um. <laughs> yeah, yo, you just got to be like four different girls for real. But see, this is my thing. Okay, you said we got to be four different girls, right? Like for real. But Not honestly, like. Because like, I know y'all I'm, think y'all crazy and I know y'all think y'all somebody else. But like, it really be girls that be like four different girls. Four different girls like how? Name me three out of the four. I wish I could explain it. Do you know what I mean, though? Like, maybe really different people. Like, no. I, I mean, what you're saying is the hand way. The way I describe it is, if if it's a if it's a woman that you don't have to outsource shit, you're right? Mean, anything you need is right there. And that shit is very rare. She caters to you. She's Beyonce. Right? Yeah, that's just that's just one out of the many things that's like, yeah, I don't need shit else. You feel me? It's just it ain't nothing that y'all gonna think that you can do. There ain't no shit like that. It's either like, it's like that between y'all or where it ain't. Most times. And most times people know that off jump too. That should be funny. Yeah. You should still try to rock with it and shit. Yeah. But most times you know. You know what I mean? Because you were like, nah, I already seen it's way, it could be way doper than that. I'm like, nah. I got too many needs that ain't being met right here. You feel me? Nope. So then, so then, yeah, it's gonna be like that. Yeah, it do be, <laughs> it definitely do be like that though. Because so he said, like, like, I like, I she like gotta this. Be multiple girls, like, I know exactly what you mean. Like, not literally, gotta be different personalities, but like, you gotta, just, yeah. But do you guys feel like you could find a girl that's, I, yeah, everything? Yeah. Okay. So what that means that you're not gonna cheat? Because sometimes, man, y'all go for that sexual, and I don't understand. That ain't what it's up about some of the time. Most of the time, it is. <laughs> I, think the reason, I think the problem that women have with men is the reason why they do certain shit. Like, you know, you see the memes on you know, on Facebook and Instagram we about niggas needing somewhere to oh, live. Oh, we were talking about double standards. Go ahead. And, you know, they, they need somewhere they live, so they, they loving this bitch. Or well, income tax is coming around, so well, I love this bitch. Or, you know what I'm saying? Just anything. Hey, that shit is crazy. I, I wanted to tweet this, but I was going to save it for the podcast. <laughs> Ladies, instead of getting your man a brick, I mean, flipping your income tax for so you can buy a brick of coke this year. Or mm-hmm. not a brick, but a little. Whatever fucking, drug. What whatever. are you ready to get? Uh, uh, I'm, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> get him a sex doll, man. Fuck that. <laughs> Ain't gonna be in jail. <laughs> you and this damn sex doll. Oh my god, it's so disturbing. Nah, but it's true though. Niggas do be fucking with joints. Yeah, that shit. That got crazy. kids and that guy, so they can have yeah, somewhere and to you live. Know, you can't have, it's the women too who be dumb as shit to go for that too. You know, but 
it's like, damn, nigga, like you that so cold, what, like you just that's cold. Had this girl, listen, I don't like playing with people's emotions. You never done it. Not take that much from somebody, like. Mm-mm. I've done a little shit where a guy might give me a little shit here and there, take me shopping or something. But that's he taken away from something. He wasn't. It, he didn't. I definitely didn't have the impression that he was wanting for anything, and it mm-hmm. wasn't tax season either. Right, right. Matter of fact, it was summertime. <laughs> <laughs> he might have got a shit back. <laughs> <laughs> he might have done his shit in April. He might have done his shit in April, but, so he didn't look like it was tax money. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new scam. You feel me? Nah, that was back in the day, uh, before I. That it was taken away from somebody. It could have been his main joint. They ain't got nothing, but I mean, they ain't got nothing to do with you, right? In the end, but I'm not. So that's how you feel, but, right? Look at, but look at the sense where you got guys who fake love a girl to live somewhere. That's t- that's taking. I'm not girl, doing that what shit. What about girl? Girls do that shit. Yeah, but uh, I think. But you gotta look at what's what's half who does it more. Girls, probably no. Guys. Yes. <laughs> yes, guys. Yes, are we no. doing for real? Guys, you think you really think more niggas is living with females? I think females girls. Is living with niggas? I think the the way it plays out with females is they're already in the situation. I mean, they're already in love and not even thinking about that. But when no, they wait, get fed up, when they get fed up, answer that's when they start doing that answer whole... Question. I'm answering it. That's when they you start... You say yes or no? We'll oh, yes. so you, you mean, see what I'm saying? So you mean like, all right, all right, all right. So they was fucking with it, whatever. They was together, maybe. Yeah. Maybe and then like, when it... Okay, I got She's it. fed up. So she's not going to just dip off when they're sharing something. You mean like the fake act, right? She gonna fake it, it until she's straight. Then she like fuck you, nigga. Cause let us let let me let let me always let y'all know. Women don't just dip off. That shit has been in her head, right. but y'all don't really notice that shit. Nah, niggas know. Niggas know. Oh, we been waiting for your dumb ass to leave. Well, right. So Took I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, y'all get on my nerves. Hey yo, <laughs> what is in your opinion? What is the when can you move in with a nigga? After how long, anyway, can you move in with a nigga? Like, what do you think Ooh. is the right amount of time that you think? You, I have you can two answers because I've seen both sides of the spectrum, meaning before kids and after kids, right? Because you got to put the kids in perspective. Because I have them, so before kids, do your thing. If you feel like it's been three months and you love him and you want to move in with him and y'all living the life, do your thing. You're young. You guys, all you gotta do is worry about yourself, whatever. But if it's after kids, you cannot just move in with anybody. So you think in three months you can move in with a nigga? I've had homegirls who've done that. Yes. And yeah, and you because niggas it, be though. gas. Niggas be acting like they gas for it too. So. Yeah, niggas be fake gas for it. They, yeah, and, but you know what? But it comes take, into a situation too. It. But it comes into a Listen, situation too. Listen, if you're giving too, me head and you asking me anything, I'm gonna say yes. But it comes to a situation, like, a situation too. You want me to kill your mom? It's uh-huh. t- <laughs> right. It can't go that far. But we're not taking. I don't know anybody who's done that. Let me put that out there. But it goes to a situation where this guy got his own motives. This girl got her own motives. The girl's motives can be like, you know what? I want to live with my own. And I do work, and I'm just gonna do this. Uh, yeah, I love him. Then the guy's like, Why she well, like that? <laughs> the guy's like, well, you I know, this is my. What did she say like that? What did she say like that? This guy's like, well, I, you know, I, I love her. She got a little pussy, you know what I'm saying? She cool, you know what I'm saying? And good pussy good. plays a good we part good. in being oh, able to move in. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and we could, and we could, you know, do it or whatever. You know, but listen, that's because y'all, y'all, that's because y'all, y'all was y'all cooking. Come. That's because y'all was cooking mm-hmm. and was sucking dick every day. Y'all was dressing good. But I'm saying, so y'all why, saw the dream. Why, why, why are y'all clowning a nigga that went all in? Why if there ain't no kids involved, because you said that's that's the without kids situation. Mm-hmm. That's you said, you said. why clowning niggas? Yeah, why, why you make it seem like that's? I mean, that's how he was rocking. Yeah. Fuck it. Wait, why kind of nigga? Because he really was all in for y'all to move in. You know what you're yeah, um, it's rare that that even happens. So if it does, yeah. it probably work out. See, I've only seen that happen like once or twice, and they like engaged type shit. Mm-hmm. Don't I know. Focus it's, it's, I know it is rare where the guy does submit or really be about that shit, and a woman be like, Yeah, I don't know. I've been trying to figure out. Y'all finesse y'all way in the cribs, man. 
I swear y'all do. It don't always be crazy, or like, I mean, like, I don't um, know. I know for me, working, sometimes, because I'm a little hard head, like, I'm weird sometimes. Like, I want a guy that, like, I like a guy who's, like, not the, too the soft. Dating app. But still holds his ground. Like, don't let me just do anything. At Nate on Tinder. Excuse me? I'm not even on there. I'm joking. <laughs> Long walks on the beach. <laughs> I do. I love that shit. Where, what, what beach are you at with having Well, I haven't walks? been on beach. I was going to say I like long <laughs> walks around the pond. You think you like long walks on the beach? I like long walks around the pond. You, when you walk on the beach, your fucking calves hurt. Nobody like long walks on the beach. That's I love to walk. I have been walking with. In the morning, you gonna be sore. When I'm in the niggas, but most of my niggas, most niggas, my niggas go butt. walking. <laughs> yeah, yo, I don't fuck with sand. Yeah, man, I, we not have no long walks. Oh, on you the mean sense on the us. sand? That's yeah, because the I'm sand not doing be everywhere. That no matter how towel your ta- your yep. towel is on the sand, it's still down gonna in the be sand. sand on you. I don't and all like sand in my nuts. Movement and shit, ew. Yeah, I haven't done it, but I'm sure it's not as beautiful as they make it seem. <laughs> Sex on the beach. If you have a blank, not even with a blanket, because yeah, you know I mean? that's what I'm saying. No matter what, sand is gonna get on the blanket, towel. Maybe it makes for extra. friction. If you do like three by three, extra friction. No, because it's still gonna mess up if you gotta like you gotta take soda. Would you be a housewife? I secretly want a housewife, right? But my, I want my housewife to work. To have a home, just in case. home, bis- a home business. Just in case. More to be honest. See, and that's what I think. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Take Boy. that money that your man got. Or oh, because some men. You start a business. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't care what yeah. you do with it. But just in case we start yeah. beefing, and I'm like, because I can cut you off. That's what Rick Ross already did. She lit. This is oh, how, this is how I'm going to answer it. Yeah. Because being a housewife. There's nothing wrong with it, right? But I feel like I do respect women who are housewives, but they make something out of it. If you do something that you love, you never have to work a day in your life. So if she ends up being like an arts and crafts or whatever craft that dick, she... you good girl, you can do something you love. Whatever you craft. <laughs> it's not all about sucking dick. Yes, it is. No, yes, it is. No, it's You're not. You're not a guy. No, you never it's had not. your dick sucked. No, it's you never not. Had your dick so you think because a girl is sucking your dick, dick really fucking good, that means you're going to wife Ask her? Ask Superhead. Ask Superhead. Why Superhead ain't not, when she, she ain't been wife by Lil Wayne. She ain't been wife by the real by Lil Wayne. By, I'm talking about marriage. Lil Wayne never wife her. He couldn't. He, he don't have no kids he by her. her. He love her though. Yeah, but that's not, no, nigga. You want to know why? No. Because had throat. Mm-mm. Trust me, yo. Mm-mm. That throat will get you a ring. Lauren London can claim yeah. shit. When he die, what is Superhead going to do? All she going to have is memories. The fuck? She paid. <laughs> it don't mean that shit. It just means that she always going to be around and sucking that motherfucker dick. That's all that means. And There's he know that. Wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with point, that. Point but she taken. Ain't that, like, what? All these niggas she named in this book, she was sucking their dicks. I know that. And she good. She ain't got, if you do something you love, you ain't never got to work a day. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't just said that shit. That's crazy. You hear me? <laughs> Lady, just love sucking like dick. Listen, if you give me good but enough, look, I'm going to go to work and I'm going to come home anticipating this great night you're about to give me. No, the reason why I say that because I... Don't go straight home. You, you feel me? No, straight see, home. the reason why you're I You're not a man. That. You heard what another <laughs> guy just said? And so Man, let me get this straight. Women love to tell niggas about themselves. Let me get this what? straight. So women love woman to tell niggas about themselves. Women is sucking your themselves. dick. Like I mean, sucking your dick, deep throat in. Dog, yeah, that's 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 like how I like it. You don't got it. every nigga don't like that. No, I like right, it. right. You suck it how I like it. Like so, when I'm sucking your dick, you telling me you want this, so I'm doing it, or you know, and then eventually you dealing with the person so much, you do what they like, right? So that means to tell me that you're gonna like really be with them. Nigga, what? That's bullshit because I have done that. I literally have you been. Wasn't doing in, it I that recently good. have been. No, I'll be that nigga to tell I you. Have. I don't care. <laughs> but uh, I'm crazy. How about this? Watch but this. I have Let me tell you how you know. How? Duh. Was he done in five minutes or less every time? Not every time. But most of the time? Yeah. I don't know. Like we'll have to back annoying. to back. You was being annoying. You was doing something. That's why I'm saying I feel like I could be <laughs> a little. <laughs> 
She said, ooh. She was hurt. I got to be real. Hey, this is my disclaimer. This is my disclaimer. I'm going to be real. You know why I'm be annoyed, though? Because I feel like if I'm sucking your dick that good, you better put some respect on my shit. Hey, listen, Madeline, no dick. Just because you think you're sucking It wasn't because I thought. No, just wait. Just because you think you're sucking my dick the best that I ever had. That's if you're busting in my five dick. minutes, that don't, mean, that, that don't mean I ain't get my dick sucking. I came in two minutes. <laughs> what? That's crazy. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> to you. What? To you, that's crazy. So if you bust in two minutes, that means she's not good? Like no, 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 no. What I'm saying is just because you made me bust in five minutes, somebody else could have made me come in two minutes. This is ain't, ain't no cakeys walking around that often. But it okay. is though. But it is okay. though. But it is. Mm-hmm. 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 As a guy, we we just know. You ain't going down talk my. Oh, you ain't going down. I'm not this. saying you don't give a good head. What I'm saying, <laughs> is somebody suck dick way better than you. No, not no. You don't know. No, I do if that know. That's the truth. Niggas <laughs> will put up with you, man. Like if you. Would, but they do. Then I. Right, then. <laughs> but it's like. They still be fighting. I be seeing it. I be like, don't fight it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Just you know you like it. <laughs> don't fight it. Nah, man. You gotta give it like you enjoy doing it. Like that's what you want. Yeah, I do. Th- that is number one rule. You yeah, I mean, but you saying we don't like it? You saying that's not how you keep a nigga? Jimmy just said, no, I'm coming right home to get my dick sucked how I want it. Like. And the thing and is, the thing is, y'all act like it's a chore. It would happen because I can. Y'all act like it's a chore though. I don't want to like, ask. I would to say it would be times where I would like, persuade him. He like, oh my god, you're making this so hard. Yeah, what's up? Like, you know what's up? I'll see you in five minutes. Oh, all right, cool. But then he'll have his moments where he's like, nah. I'm like, nigga. See, stop by yourself. You think she would have her got told no? Maybe if the nigga was... The no is like, no, yo, I'm about to come and I'm not... Uh-uh, uh not yet. That's mm. the only no I'm getting. Well, she I don't did. know. I'm not trying to be super head. You need to be. That's the problem. Well, see, if you was my nigga, <laughs> if you was my yeah, nigga, then we can do that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not about to give you all the works and we never committed. Like, that's another thing, too. Like, nah. Hey, yo, but more power to super head. So we're not supposed to give y'all all the things neither then that y'all think y'all supposed to get. That's good for you. I'm gonna start saying that. I have said that. I'm be like, you know what? <laughs> is yeah, I don't wrong? deserve. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't deserve problem. some of this shit. I be that like, y'all I ain't doing for. all that, nigga. You name my nigga. Before. Yeah, and I'm gonna start saying that to girls. That's like, fine. But eventually, when you eating this pussy, you gonna all that shit gonna go behind your head, and you gonna do whatever. You know what? But me personally, I be thinking. Oh so. my ass eating from that one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here! You said what? You said what? Out of here. You say that, man. <laughs> I missed it. Fuck out of here. This is crazy. <laughs> Try to grab my <laughs> Yeah. It tastes y'all good want with the orange juice though. Y'all want to keep talking No, wait, go back to so let's go back on track. Where's the questions? Oh, shout out to Eminem Slim Shady. Uh, Eight mile. You're right. <laughs> Maybe right. we're about to come on now. the questions? Yeah. I've been asking them on the list. I want to go. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I peep. Nah, nigga, I'm an observer. Oh, alright. Um, is taking your man back after he cheat the new thing? Nope, it's been happening. It's been happening? Yeah, it's been happening. What made you take the nigga back? Like, what is it? Because you feel like there's... uh, A lot of women like to live on hope. And you know he's a good man. And maybe the way he did it might have been not as disrespectful as some sort of situation. Okay, that's how you justify it. Um, Kids are another justification. I think it's right, but that's another thing that people look at. Being comfortable... I, that's wanna, the, that was the main thing. Yeah, you me. don't want to go. You don't want to start over because it, it is un- easy to start over. You know, no one really wants to start over. You know, you to me, know that's that the person. main thing. Mm-hmm. Having to start over. Yeah. Um. Would you? I wouldn't take a girl back if she cheated on me. A lot of men wouldn't. So allegedly, that's a double standard. Yes. But uh. But it's because, you know, women get penetrated, so. Yeah, plus y'all, like, We're like it's rare that I'm going to fall in love after I get it's some a side pussy bitch. shit. Yeah, like, yeah, I might fall in love with the side nigga. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, men are possessive over their pussy. Yeah, only if it's mine though. Right. If it's not mine, it could be anybody else's. And that's really how I feel. <laughs> um, but that. I need to charge my phone. It's a charger right there. Right there. And right there. Yeah. How long are we doing, y'all? Yeah. About five. Alright. Uh, so we're going to come back next week, y'all. We got.